so I'm out for my Saturday, uh, I believe it's the 18th of September bike ride. It's in the evening. Hurricane Sally was uh, earlier this week. Luckily, we didn't have much damage in this area, a lot of flooding. But I wanted to share with you three things that I believe are indicating that our economy is slowing and not recovering. So I live down here on the coast of Florida on the Panhandle. And one of the biggest things we've seen is an explosion in building. Sorry for the wind. Uh, but I wanted to use this as an example of one of the leading indicators that's really a great leading indicator is lumber prices. And since June, uh, May, June or so, we've seen an explosion in, in lumber prices to the higher side. But here recently, in the last couple weeks, we're starting to see lumber prices pivot and start heading south. The one thing I look at is that top, top 10% of that move or so, you see a bit of a verticalness in the move. And then when you see that, oftentimes it is a last uh, ditch effort to go higher and your bigger institutions are at that point trying to sell out of their profitable positions at that point, And then they start selling against it or shorting it. Lumber is a really big indicator uh, when it comes to the overall uh, landscape of our the strength of our economic uh, system. And when you see lumber prices coming down, there's a good chance that the economy is actually starting to slow. So the equity markets are really interesting. They have formed this megaphone. So we've hit all time highs. We have a directional downward trend. And there's just a lot of space in here that is creating potential volatility. And now we're seeing that this volume, this uh, ability to go higher is starting to fail. And we've seen that over the last couple of weeks. So it's oftentimes an indicator that we're going to see a correction or a retracement of the highs. All right. So the other area I'm looking at is that triangle kind of formation so that market's gone like this in a sense so the trading has been wide and large and now it's consolidating and coming to a point and oftentimes when you see that happen you see uh, a breakout to the higher side especially if it's been in an upward trending environment now if it's been in a lower trending environment and you see that oftentimes that downward trend will continue but in the case of the two-year and the 10-year uh, yields those yields are going are trending down on the long term but also they're consolidating and forming that triangle the other area that also is doing this is gold gold has gone higher but now is forming that triangle and narrowing its trading and consolidating and getting ready to bust higher so in closing we are starting to see indicators that the economy is no longer recovering but it is actually starting to roll over. Like on top of a bell curve, we're going off the right side of the bell curve. And a lot of that can be attributed to the fact that we don't have the stimulus that we did in March, April, that three trillion or so. The Federal Reserve has basically run out of steam to an extent, and Congress can't get their act together to uh, put in place another stimulus plan. So I think you're going to start to see this econ these economic numbers come out. And the bond market is a leading indicator to tell you what is to come. And if we continue to see the two-year bounce between 0 .0, 0 0.10 and 0 0.13, and we see a break below 1.0, I think that is an indication that we could see a lot of equity downside in the near future.